Let's go for an overtake. Ooh. For a one litre, it really does pull quite well. And we come to the inevitable bank holiday traffic. Never mind. Screwdriver, I need a screwdriver. Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week guys we're going to do something slightly different. Um, outside my house right now is another car. Oh, come on! I know, but uh, Stan is gone. George is going away for paintwork in a couple of weeks time, so I need some more transport temporarily because George is not going to be available to me, so I had to go and get something else. So, spoilers, here's the red plate guys. Oh, hang on, you know what the car is because you've seen the thumbnail. Yes, it's a Mark II Polo, or Mark II F to be more specific. It has the 148cc engine. This car's lived 99% of its life in Ireland. In fact, it only came over there last year. It's still on its Irish MOT, and um, it's all good to go in the UK. Yes, if you're worried about buying cars from Ireland, as long as they've got an MOT, that's perfectly valid in the UK, guys. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, before we go for a test drive today, before I introduce you to the car, I've got a few little jobs to do. So first off, I want to fit these, well, I don't want to fit that, I've just taken that off the car. I've got some new number plates I'd like to fit because this is a bit sad. Yeah, so while the weather's nice, let's get some plates on the car and then have a go at the paintwork. Catch you in a sec. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? I've only stuck them on, I hope that's going to hold okay, but I didn't want to drill them. And on the back as well. Much better. Right, well, while the weather's nice and there is actually some sun in the sky, I thought I'd have a go at the bodywork. Um, the corner of this wing was in primer and it looked ugly, guys. So I've just uh, sanded it down, gone across it with a tack cloth, and now I'm just uh, in the process of dusting it in with an aerosol. I'm not going to go too mad because it is a daily driver and um, I'm not too sure of the car's um, future with me. So I'm just going to make it tidy for the next guy. So a few more coats like that and I should be able to polish the um, the overspray off. It's not going to look amazing, but it's a damn sight better than it was. Again, the, the bottom of this door was ugly, so I've just gone over that with an aerosol. Hardly even prepped that, but uh, it's a 10 footer. <laughs> so, on this side of the car, you got a bit by the driver's door handle. That I'm going to have to. I'm just going to mask the door handle up and just go over it with a bit of wet and dry and then we'll prep it for some paint. Um, these bits I think I'm just going to dab some touch up paint on. Uh, I don't really want to get into sanding the whole panel down. And these will just, uh, we'll just wet and dry those down and go over them with some satin black. Just to make it look a bit more presentable and so that your eye doesn't catch it. This is the worst bit on the car. I'm not getting involved with getting rid of the shape, but this is all in grey primer, guys. It looked horrible, so. So please don't be sending me a hello to hate in the comments, guys. It's just to make the car look a bit more attractive. Right, so I'm going to let that set and just go touch dry. And while that's doing that, I'm going to prep the door handle for some paintwork. So that means masking up. Same as um, I've badly and crudely done there. And we'll get that ready for paint.
tiny spiders are literally like everywhere at the moment. The whole purpose of this today guys, we're not aiming for concourse, we just want to make it look a little bit more presentable than it is already. Seeing as we've got Rustall coming up and this is probably going to be going to Rustall because I think George is going to be waiting for paint at this point. Let's see how that pans out. Funnily enough I've just watched uh, Ben the Tasty Classics do exactly the same job to uh, Master MX-5, sorry, Rover MX-5. What am I talking about? Well you need to check out YouTube's Tasty Classics. There's some great videos on there guys. Really good stuff. Right. Any moisture left in this? No, that's perfect. Ideally, you'd want to use the base coat like an etching primer, but I haven't got that, so we're just going to go straight for the satin black. And ideally, you want to wait for as much wind as possible, just so paint goes everywhere. Back to black on there, you never know. Well, to a blind man looking the opposite direction, I think it's, it's come out all right. That will do, as they say. Just sort of takes your eye off the bad bits. I mean, from here, it looks pretty bloody good. Might have failed to mask that. That's uh, <laughs> also some horrendous overspray on the glass. That's going to get a razor blade to that. But not too bad, donkey. Of course, the worst bit is that corner. Yeah. From a few foot away. It doesn't look too bad. At least it's all one colour now, and that was the main objective, so cup of tea earned, I think. So here we go, guys. Here's my 1993 Mark II F Polo Fox, or Polo CL, 1048cc. You could get these with an 1100 and 1300 engine as well. This is the 1048. Yeah, horrendous crease in that rear arch, but at least it's the same colour. Just takes your eye off it. Of course, I've decorated it with the All Things Alex sticker. Of course, we have to have a Hubnut sticker. Let's take a closer look inside. Check out the seats guys, it's like a kid's 1990s bedroom wallpaper. <laughs> Pretty good order really. And uh, no radio currently, actually it's nice to have the original blanking plate but it's missing its parcel shaft speakers. So I've just got on eBay and ordered a set of those, so I'll be fitting those before rust of all. Nice to have some tunes in the car on the drive, in the back. Oh, good order. Nice to have the seats in good, good, good condition, really. These often get removed. In fact, that's what 
um, drew me to the attention of this car really the fact is it's not really being messed with at all door cars are all good not too sure on the wheels I think they're Mark 3 Golf there was some horrendous overspray on the tyres and you can see where it's been touched up in fact I've not managed to get all of it off but uh, it was all over the side walls of the tyre but uh, I used the Brillo pattern and a bit of water and most of that has come off luckily coming into the boot past the shelf shame that's a bit uh, distorted but might be able to straighten that with a baton of wood or something I'm not too sure in the boot under the carpet we've got a spare wheel a bit of condensation look in there might be something to keep an eye on going forward but yeah that's a boot not a bad little thing is it really bit of a dent there something for the next guy to attend to if you're fast so it doesn't really bother me but let's have a look under the bonnet so under the bonnet you've got the tried and tested 1048 cc engine about 40 horsepower uh, electronic ignition on this is a dizzy but uh, no points to worry about that's good you can get these with a I think the later ones are injection over carb of course timing chain I have looked at that it um, the belt does look okay but if I was going to keep the car it might be worth doing at some point just for safety you know because these are an interference engines so if the belt goes uh, it destroys your engine so that's all bad times but uh, let's take on the open road and see how it performs all right buckle up Why do I always buy cars with squeaky fan belts? So like I said, um, this will not be a keeper. Uh, now normally I'm always saying how I'm going to keep a car, but I bought this purely to serve as a function. I'm going to take you down the Christchurch Bypass, which is uh, the UK equivalent of the Autobahn. So it's a bank holiday weekend, the roads are gridlocked. And, fuck it, swag. Of course, it's bank holiday weekend. It's not the best time to be on the roads, really. Am I adding to the problem? I don't actually need to be on the road today. I'm just going for a drive just to talk to you, but uh, maybe I'll go and see my mum. Obviously, I can't take you with me, but might pay mum a visit have a cup of tea it's nice to be back in the VW actually I do I have missed it I kind of did my time with them though solely had Volkswagen for a number of years did the whole scene thing enjoyed it mostly seeing folk can be a bit take it or leave it bit of an odd bunch or some of them can be I found myself going to shows and people are like oh why have you got those wheels on or oh, I don't like what you've done to that let's go for an overtake one litre it really does pull quite well no idea what the speedo is doing but I do have another cable it's the end saying it was broken fair enough just got to get around to changing at some point and we come to the inevitable bank holiday traffic never mind so warm so the more astute of you might have noticed in my uh, 
film around in the interior we're missing the uh, sun visor and that's because I've taken it off because the seam had split and it was hanging down my face there's not a massive amount of hair drum in here so I was kind of sat with it on my eyeballs not ideal So Rostival is coming up on the weekend of the 28th, I think, of September. So a few weeks yet, but really looking forward to that, guys. There's a good chance, if you don't see me in George, you'll see me in this. Come and say hello, please. I'll have some stickers in the car, should you want some merch. Yeah. Not a bad little oh, and a burp there. Not a bad little car. What I will say is before you guys send me a little hate about the paint that I've done today, I, I do not do bodywork. That's one thing I can't do. Um oh I, I have done it but I spent five minutes prepping this today. So I spend no time at all. Yeah. Anyway, I'm almost at my mum, so I'm going to say uh, I'll leave you here, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, see you soon. Actually, I'll see you before rest of all because there should be some videos coming up on George. He goes away for paint all being well next week. So provided my friend Chris is alright with me filming that, there might be a couple of videos on that. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It does help the channel out. And I'll see you again with some more content. Take care and drive safe.